Holy crap, man. This thing looks insane. I've been hanging out to ride one of these. Even the one before this, I was hanging out to ride. But I'm so stoked I get this bad boy. This is the only demo one in um, Australia? Australia? That's crazy, man. That's so crazy. Uh, so this is going to be... This is it. This is the first time I'm hopping on this bike. Um, I'm just going to talk you through. Make sure this car doesn't run me over. Okay. That's oh, going to run me over. <laughs> Suck. Holy crap, it's light. I mean, like, you can just wheel this thing around. That's already, it feels like a toy. I say everything feels like a toy. But this feels like a toy. Alright, so, got the fob in my pocket. Alrighty, <laughs> let's do this, I'm so keen. Hopping on. Oh, there we go, so it's a little bit higher than the old ones, apparently. But, man, that tank is right there, hey. But I feel like, oh, it is going to be a juicy, juicy time. Nice cutout for the legs. The shape of the tank looks like a damn missile maybe that's what they're going for the old missile writings look at this man the motor feels what do you see that and boom it is on surface over drew already how mad is the gauge thing oh my god that is pretty sick all right let's fly this bad boy up Whew. oh wow that's a smooth takeoff it's just <laughs> This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Brakes are really, there's like a lot of, yeah, very responsive as well. Just, man, just like that little takeoff. Seamless, man. Oh, what the heck, man? Those gears. Whoa. Quick shifter, yes, but the new stack of gearbox means that there's just no delay in between the shift and guys that is the smoothest shit right there changing down Dung. it just oh it clips in and down to first yeah that's fine <laughs> wowzeroo wowzeroozy i don't know people are saying that the, the suspension is really stiff it's not stiff at all man i feel like it's nice and it feels perfect Oh, these are like normal city commuting roads. There's all bumps in the bridges and everything. And it feels like it's absorbing all those like micro bumps that would really hurt your butt usually. The seat feels really comfortable. There's a lot of movement so you can push it all the way back or you can bring it forward. Knees are hugging the tank and it's just like you, you can't really hold your knees out. They're just sort of like thunk there ready to go. You don't have to squeeze them in anymore. You're just ready to rock and roll all the damn time. Self-cancelling indicators. Oh my gosh, this is, oh my gosh, this is too good. This is so good. <laughs> Whew, I haven't even, oh man, I'm so excited about this. It's so light, oh my god, it's so light. Everything just feels so damn refined on this. Damn, I can like I'm just I'm in I'm in awe. I'm in awe right now. This is insane. So just riding through the tunnel there, I just saw that the controls were all nice and eliminated. That looks really sick. It's like really nice and tidy. Gives a bit of class to the bike as well, I reckon. Isn't that sound? The intake sound, can you hear it? Man, put a pipe on this bad boy. Okay, so this thing has cruise control as well. Easy, just press the set button twice, one to engage it, one to activate it, and then boom, we're on baby. We're cruising, we got cruise control. And then to deactivate it, you just roll the throttle forward or hit the brake, and now it's off. Six gear, 100 k's an hour, sits on about 4,000 revs. Engine brake test, off. So there's not a lot. It feels comfy, like my, the, my butt is so nicely planted and there's cushioning where there needs to be cushioning. Maybe my back feels a little bit hunched over, like if I'm just going to ride the freeway for a while. All the bikes, man, you're just going to cramp up, no matter what. Your legs are in a pretty tight position, so you might cramp up going for a while. But I feel so comfortable, man. There's no pressure on my wrists. Usually with these sort of bikes, you feel a bit of pressure. I guess maybe the back might take a bit, being a little sporty, but for a full-on track bike, I reckon you could take this for a nice long ride and not have too many issues. Ooh. 
it just comes alive man there is a beast there is a beast right there right around there i've been cruising around here that's perfect for city man perfect and then the beast is there <laughs> what <laughs> what? Okay, so just going through the dash here, so we have check out that. How good does that look? Oh, it just moves across. And then here are all your modes. Got road, sport, track, and then you can like map it all as well as however you want it. Then you have your rider. Rain and then back to road again. So we're gonna go to sport. Dunk, that's in sport mode now. Oof. And then you got all this stuff here, man. Look at this. So you got your display, you got your brightness, you got your theme. What's the theme? Cobalt. Oh, what? That's furnace. And I'm sure you'd be able to like map more in. Hey, that's cool. I like all that crap. So, so far, it's only cobalt and furnace are the only two. Oh, well, let's roll with furnace for a little bit. Bonk. Oh, man, this bike is uh, fun. So you got your language, you got your units, date, time, shift indicator. Oh, writer name, how good's that? That's on motor fields at the moment, which is sick. Bike, you got your riding aids. What are your riding aids? Oh, yeah, okay, right. So yeah, traction, your map, then traction control, sick. And then, so I'm just using this little trigger thing just to move around everything. Your riding aids, you got your coolant, you got your warnings, service, and then your settings. Um, down here, your journey, so your trip, lap time, and your fuel status, and then, and then you got your Bluetooth connectivity, so you get navigation, you get your music, phone, SMS, GoPro, which I think is so sick, intercom, and then the settings. How good's that, man? This bike is absolutely kitted out. You get your temperature up there, your time there, Bluetooth. It's telling me that I set my cruise control to 82 kilometers an hour. Man, what a cool thing! Hey, I love, I love the dash. The dash is so nice so simple speed gears fuel ride mode and your and your taco how easy is that bit of heat coming off the bike just sitting here idling i'm definitely noticing it uh, but there's a whole lot of bike underneath me right now hectic you feel like it's so snappy hey Alrighty, zero to 100 here we go three two one go get out of first gear and that was a bit of a crappy start as well but the front tire was up the front tire was up the entire the entire time uh let's do that again uh here we go we'll do it here right now zero to 100 three two one the front tire was up the whole time this <laughs> Wow, look at that. We're doing some hazard burning, hazard reduction burning. Look at the smoke, man. It's pretty hectic. But I love that you can just cruise like this, man. Look at this. 60Ks. You can easily, easily just have a nice literally stroll. Like you don't have to wind it up all the time. Just have a nice little cruise through some twisties. This is a machine. <laughs> Holy crap. How are these tires looking? Am I cooking them in a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Wow, look at it, man. It's a damn beast. Oh my gosh. I love how it's just so... I'm not into fast bikes, man. But I even rode Nick's. And I enjoyed Nick's. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, look at this, man. Whoa. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it so much. I loved it more than the XSR 900. I liked it more than the MV Augusta. I like it more than the Rocket, man. I feel like the Rocket was just so big and, you know, like it, it's hard to ride in like commuting and stuff like in the city. But this thing is so light and like it's got all that power there and it just feels just so... <laughs> this is sick. Oh God, look at this, man. I love this. Wow, I can't, I can't stop smiling. I can't stop smiling. Woo! Mustang! Oh, it's 
gears are really nice. This thing just holds on corners. I protect my eye. It's... And when you get around those mid range of the revs, you can feel that sweet spot, man. Everything just lines up and just purrs. And like this, it's so light. It's so ridiculously light. Thing, man, it is killing me. Oh, it is this. That's flapping. Far out, this bike is fast. And I'm not even riding it properly, man. And that's what I mean, man. It rides like that, and then you can just cruise on it. It feels so fine just to ride like a normal, like, as you should be riding. You sit in fourth gear, and you're just going to cruise. And it's just like, it feels, it almost feels like this is what it's made for. It's made for just like commuting around and just riding really slow. But then it's like... Oh, so the front wheel just came up in a bit. Like, far out, man. That's insane. That's just insane. Oh, this is an awesome bike. And they're just around corners, man. So easy. Like, so, so easy. Chucking U-turns. Not an issue. But the front tyre comes up every time you open it up. So, uh, be careful. Like, if you buy this and don't take it out to the track, there's something, there's something wrong with you. I mean, like, that's the safest way to do, like, to unleash the full potential of this thing, is just take it to a track, man. Open it up and go f***ing ham on it. Go ham on its ass, man. And, like, it's got the anti-wheelie stabilization thing but the front wheel just pops up still like you know you're not doing a full-on mono but your wheels your wheels are definitely off the ground when you open it up and you hit around 7,000 that's when it comes alive 7,000 revs everything's lined up man the bike is dead smooth you don't feel any sort of vibration like this at idle it's just like it feels a little bit rough but there's a reason for it it's because when you when you hold it up there <laughs> It's so smooth. Everything's lined up perfectly. You're in power band and like it just, it's like it just has a second wind, man. Like you open it up now, it's there. And then already it started pulling even more towards that 7,000 rev mark. This is a delicious machine. I love it. Take it to the track, man. Oh, the brakes are so good. Bumpy. Oh. <laughs> this is the one, baby. You're not fighting it. You're not fighting it at all. Like, look at that. Just genius, man. It feels so good. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That was a spicy meatball. Comfort-wise, gents, Watch your nuts. You really, you, you butt up to the tank big time. Um, there's a lot of space at the back to slide your butt backwards, but I don't, like, it's very uncomfortable. And you can hear my voice now, like this is a bumpy part of the road, but it's stiff. Like the suspension's stiff, but it is fully adjustable. So if you want to soften them up, you can. But then for like hitting turns like that, you want it to be nice and doink. 
stance, my arms are nice and wide. These bars are a little bit wider. Just very comfortable, very nice and neutral almost. In my knees, I don't feel like I'm, I have resets or anything on. Well, because they're not resets. But I don't feel like I'm, you know, on a full-blown like Panigale or whatever. I feel like I'm just still on a bike that you can just commute around town and, and then, you know, <laughs> have an absolute blast on. This is a bit jerky. And when, it, when you're going over bumps, you're like, ah, 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 ah. How's this for talk? Fifth gear, 50 Ks, wide open. Yeah, if you don't feel like changing gears, you don't have to. Just sit on 60 Ks like I am now, in fifth gear. And it's still way, way, way faster than my street scrambler. But far out. <laughs> I like this. I like this, it's, it's very nice. I like it lots. Like Incline, I can push it back so easily. That's how light this thing is, man. Oh, damn it, coming to the end of the run. I've loved this thing. This has been such an enjoyable thing to ride. Definitely try it out, hey. Take one for a test ride. Just see what I mean about <laughs> everything I've just mentioned. What a sick machine. I'm so happy with this. I don't want to let it go. It's mine. Douche, douche. Great for people who don't like to use the clutch fantastic for these people horrible for people that want to leave it in neutral at the lights i don't know if this is this one or what but holy crap man i just can't can't get into neutral F neutral man neutral's a bitch neutral is impossible to find neutral is a pig i can never find it there we go found it ah. and like the takeoff that was such a big thing for me instantly taking off the the smoothness of it all and like the response from everything it just oh it just makes you feel it makes your heart feel nice it makes your heart feel so splendid and then even just touching the front of the rear brakes they feel fantastic so responsive all control all feeling is there i love just shifting through these gears man it's, it's so sick fun bike perfect it's perfect i love it so much my balls are a little bit sore i gotta say my balls are a little bit sore but yeah how do i feel how's my back my back feels great my wrist feels my wrists my wrists <laughs> both of them feel fantastic uh trials just up here i don't feel too tired or anything i feel i don't know i feel fine i don't want to take you back i don't want to take you back damn it <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay, I need a, I wanna, I need a, I wanna, I need a, I wanna. Oh my gosh, we are back. I can't find neutral again. 
freaking neutral, man. Ugh. It's just the tiniest little... Oh, fucking... oh, oh my god. You are killing me. You are full on killing me. What do I do with my bloody hand? Are you serious? Come on. Oh, got it. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. <laughs>